And we are in the kitchen this morning with Sarah Broder, who's the founder of Rustic Board Grazing Company. Oh, this looks amazing in front of us, all these ingredients. Sarah, what are you making for us today? So today uh, we're gonna make a um, lemon and rosemary whipped goat cheese, which is nice and refreshing with spring coming up. And then I also brought just for fun, uh, roasted red pepper whipped feta that I make as well. That sounds so delicious. So bring us through these ingredients. They're full of beautiful colors too, especially yeah. like you said, with spring coming, today is the first of March. Yes. We're looking forward to that now. So what do you have over here? Yeah, so for ingredients, we have our uh, goat cheese. So it's just a fresh chev. It's a plain one. You can get different flavors, but I use the, the plain fresh chev. About how much and do you then, use over here too? So this is gonna be about 11 ounces. So okay. what I did, you can get like one of the larger logs. Oh, so you yeah. can get like an eight ounce or a four ounce log. So I'll get, one of each gotcha. and I'll just kind of mix it together. And then I have a uh, whipped cream cheese right over here, just a plain whipped cream cheese that you can get at the grocery store, some lemon zest and fresh chopped rosemary. And then just to serve on the side, we've got some pita bread, we've got some cut up baguette, and then we've got some fresh veggies as well. I love it. And tell us about rustic board grazing. That's such a great idea. I love that. What made you want to start yeah, that? Yeah, thank you. So I actually, I really enjoy being in the kitchen and experimenting with things. And um, in my past career, I was a social worker. So had the opportunity to be home with my daughter at at one point and knew I needed something for me, yeah. but really wanted to explore more of a culinary side of things. So Rustic Board has really just been this opportunity for me to explore that side of myself um, and just explore that. And through it, I've wanted to incorporate some of my own recipes. So that's what's led to the whipped spreads as oh, well as some take and bake dips I do. So these are great because you can just include them right on the charcuterie board or you can just serve them as is. I love that. So whether you're having like people over or you're just like wanting to have like a nice family night, yeah. these are great things to use really for any time. Right, yeah, they're super versatile too. You could add them into pastas, you could put them on pizzas. I love that. Yeah. So, and where can people find you too? So I'm on Facebook and Instagram under Rustic Board Grazing. So right. they can find me on there and all my information, ordering and menus are, are up on those sites as well. Awesome, well Sarah, I can't wait to try this when everything's done. Yeah. Because Sarah will be here throughout the show putting everything together. But for now, we're gonna head things back over to the guys. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Friday morning. Rustic Board Grazing Company joins us. Founder Sarah's here. We've got rip, whipped roasted red pepper feta and a whipped lemon rosemary goat cheese on the menu today. Good to see you. Good to be here. It's quite a morning, right? It is. It's quite a morning. <laughs> it's quite a morning. Quite a morning. All right, tell us what we got going on. All right, so uh, we're going to put together the whipped goat cheese. So we've got the ingredients here. Super simple, super quick. You can just grab everything at the grocery store. Awesome. Um, so we're going to start off with our goat cheese. So it's about um, 11 ounces, and we're going to put that right into our mixer. Right. Drop that in there. Drop it right in there. Okay. And then next, we're going to do the whipped cream cheese, just a few tablespoons, about three, works really well. Okay. You can do more or less, choose your own adventure. Yep, yep. So how did you get started doing this? So getting started doing this, uh, just I had the opportunity to be a stay-at-home mom and knew I needed something for myself. Right. So I've always loved to be in the kitchen. Um, and wanted to explore something that was a little more related to that. Sure. So I started Rustic Board doing the charcuterie boards and through that really wanted to bring in uh, some of my own recipes. So that's where the whipped spread started, some take and bake dips. Um, so I started doing that to include them on charcuterie boards, mm -hmm. but also so people could have them just to put out for an appetizer I mean, spread or include in salads or um, pizzas, pasta and dishes. Who doesn't love a good dip like this? Right? I mean, it really it's is. so good. I, it, it truly is. And and make, putting a charcuterie board together or something like this yep. really is an art. You see you know, folks do it and you're just like, oh my God, it looks beautiful. Yeah. It really does. It really does. Yeah, it's a great way to integrate all the senses. Sure. Okay, so now we're going to just whip that up Yep, we're going to whip it up. Okay, whip that up. Oh. Yes, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> well, we have all our ingredients. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Before. It's all good. It's all good. All right. And so then once it's nice and combined, yep. you can go ahead and just take it out. You know, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you out if I can. I'm just gonna move sure. this. I'm gonna move this out of the way if I can. All right. And drop that down. It might make it oh. a little easier. There we go. Pull that out. Awesome. Thank okay. you. Ah. This All is right. for taste testing. <laughs> have at it. I've got crackers here if you got want it, some. Perfect. And then I have some in a bowl already over here. So we'll just go ahead and add this. Yep. You can also take these ingredients out of the fridge about like a half hour, 20 minutes before you use them. And that's going to help to soften them up too. Yeah. So for the uh, the whipped goat cheese, it goes really well just with a mixer. Okay. For the whipped feta, uh, the recipe calls for a block of feta. So you're going to want to use a food processor for that to break that up. Got it. But once you have it in there, you can take some of your extra lemon zest, sprinkle it on top for a little garnish. 
And then you can pop some rosemary on top to garnish it. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna yeah, just sure. put, the, put this over over here so we can take a so we can take a little a little dip. If somebody wants to get a hold of you and uh, can they create their own you know experience? Because I know you said you also help people and like uh, guide them through making stuff like this too. Yeah. So I, I like to post about the stuff that I make. People can order it directly from me. And then I it. also do with the charcuterie boards themselves. I do some workshops. I do in home workshops. Mm -hmm. I uh, work with some breweries and vineyards to do those and some pairing and tasting events. So kind of all over the place. That's all right. Nothing wrong. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. How can they get a hold of you? So uh, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. All my contact info is there at Rustic Board Grazing. So um, they can find my email, my right. phone number, all of that. Check it out. It's delicious. Thanks so much for coming in. Yeah. Good to have you here. Thanks for having um, me. If you would like the recipe for this, you can head on over to our website. That is Rocho.com. As we head to break, let's check out some more local steals and deals. <laughs>